Hi there. Welcome to my channel Mono Sam. And uh, I'm having the Moto G. That is the first generation Moto G. And just today I got a uh, system update which is uh, uh, let me just show you. So the Moto G first generation runs on Android version 4.4.4 that is KitKat. But uh, recently Motorola has uh, officially announced uh, the lollipop update for this device and I just got it and I have downloaded the update and that was around 350 MB uh, the size of the update was around 350 MB and I it took for around one hour depending on your internet connection it will take the time so uh, this is the update and uh, before let me just check if uh, what is the internal storage that I am having now in my device so so I am having 4.3 GB of internal storage and uh, so now let, let, let uh, me just install the update. So before installing the update, I will recommend you to have at least 80% of the battery because this update will take time as it says that it will take around 15 minutes. So I will suggest you to uh, at least charge the phone fully so phone giving me haptic feedback so the update is installing so it did took around 15 to 20 minutes and uh, besides this Moto G 4 generation the second version of the Moto G also got the lollipop update but regarding the Moto X, first generation, second generation, and the Moto E, there is still uh, no update. They didn't. Uh, they still didn't got uh, the lollipop update. And uh, I will also recommend you if you have the Moto G uh, 8 GB version, the first generation. Uh, I will recommend you to have at least 1 to 1.5 GB storage left for this update. So the android is upgrading now the apps are being optimized so it will take time depending the number of applications you have installed in my case i have 75 so the optimization process took around 15 minutes again it says updating contacts database So the process of upgrading the phone is taking around more than 30 minutes now. So and the phone has been booted. Okay, so that was the boot animation. And uh, let me just increase the brightness quickly. Okay, so so the phone has been upgraded to Lollipop. Android lollipop and as you can see these are the uh, capacitive buttons which have been changed uh, this is for the uh, recent applications as you can see this is for the home and this is for the back and uh, okay so these are the quick toggles let me just increase the brightness okay so these are the quick toggles now and uh, google says that it has uh, this update has a material design now use it again increase the redness okay so so it says that uh, your moto g has been successfully updated to version uh, 220.21.28.en.03 these are the recent applications and we have to swipe left to kill them and this is a notification tray and uh, the interface looks very attractive now frankly speaking and let me just took, uh, take a look at the app tray and uh, looks like it doesn't change the icons the much this is a settings icon which has been changed so let me just go to settings now and as you can see the whole UI interface of settings has been changed so let's quickly take a look at the Android version so the Android version we have is now lollipop so it's nice and let me just uh, quickly take a look at the internal storage left now 
so as you can see the internal storage left is now 4.29 gb and earlier it was 4.3 gb so no and that uh, not much storage has been occupied by this update and this is the uh, settings menu and as you can see the uh, effects are looking very nice as you can see i am doing like this so this is the uh, settings menu and let me just again take a look at some of the other applications this is the dialer let me just take a look at the dialer so as you can say that see that this dialer has been changed and this is the dialing pad now and let me just also take a look at the messaging and that's not changed that much and let me just take a look at the camera and the camera is also unchanged and not many changes and i have heard that this uh, android lollipop is now 64 bit compatible so if your phone has a 64 bit processor uh, this lollipop will take fully utilization of that processor the power of the processor and uh, the performance will increase and by default the lollipop update will run on the art runtime instead of the dalvi runtime and after this lollipop update now finally the user can move the application from the internal storage to the memory card which was before not possible on this google devices and this is the final build version of android lollipop which is officially released by google and this update took uh, a lot of time because uh, uh, Google has fixed a lot of bugs and uh, it took a lot of time for Google and uh, finally it has released the update after so much anticipation. I hope you like my video and if you do please click the subscribe button. This is Monusam signing off and I will see you in my next video.